Hey guys, so today as promised I will show you how I shot and edited the Kiki challenge video I did recently. What is up guys, my name is Harold James and welcome back to my channel and if you haven't seen the Kiki challenge video I did, the link is in the description. So I wanted to show you how I did that video but let me tell you first that I am not an expert in this and there may be a lot of other ways to do this. What I'm just gonna show you is how I did it. If you know an easier or better way to do it, uh, please leave a comment down below and let me know. So let's get started. First thing you need is a camera, or you can use your camera phone. The cameras on your phones these days are really good. You will be needing a tripod, gorilla pod, or any flat surface that you can put your camera on. And then you will need a green screen. In my case, I just use a green cheap fabric that you can get in any fabric store. Then you will be needing a laptop or a PC to edit your video. Now, the software to use is Adobe After Effects. You can also use Adobe Premiere, but there is more flexibility and you can adjust a lot of things in After Effects to make the effect look better. This effect, by the way, is called Chroma Key or Color Effect Key. It means you can key out colors from your video. Specifically, commonly used colors like blue or green since they are the farthest color from our skin tone. So first, you shoot your video with your green or blue screen as your background. That will be the color that you are going to key out. Then, edit this using Adobe After Effects. Then, after shooting the video, you import your video to the After Effects. So we're going to zoom in and increase the scale. And we're gonna mask out the rest of the background since we don't really need them. Plus, I only have a small green screen background, so we're just gonna mask out everything else. Now, click on Effects, then select Key Light. Use this tool to select the background color you are going to key out. You can click this button right here to toggle the transparency. Then select screen, pre-blur, so it blurs the screen map and the edge to hide rough edges. And make it smoother. Then change the view to screen map view. Then adjust clip black to totally delete the, all the background noises. And adjust the clip white to clean the subject or clean the white color. Then we adjust the screen shrink to reduce the edges and also click effects, mats, simple choker and adjust the color mat to clean the edges just to be sure that we have less noise in the edges. Then replace method to hard color and replace the color with gray green just to prevent some small green particles appearing in our shot, interfering in our video. Now we add in our background, which is the video of a street that I got from videoblocks.com. Then let's put on our car door image that I already cropped in Photoshop. And then next, then select your video footage and copy and paste it here, which we're gonna need it later. Rename the second one to video footage 2. Then delete the mask and the effect. So later when we remove the background, we can see the raw footage with the green screen on it. And then next, we animate the background in the corridor using keyframes to their positions. So let's find a start point, then put a keyframe in the background layer, and then let's find the end point right here, and then, and then put another keyframe. And then adjust the position of the image in the endpoint keyframe to where we want our background to go. So that is going downwards. We will then do the same thing over our door image. But instead of going down, door image will now go to the right. So that's it. Render and export your video and there you go. You just learn color key and animation using keyframes. So, I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you wanted to see more, uh, please hit the subscribe button and click the little bell notification icon.
Okay, thank you guys for watching and see you again soon.